the times in life when you see things where you, you think you're seeing things. I'm a young reporter, the Daily News, and like, I'm ready to go. There's a guy just arrived at work, and he's a little shaky. And I know what that means. I already knew that. But what I'd never seen before is he opens his desk drawer, and he takes out a white ceramic bowl, and then he takes some newsprint. Not blank newsprint, newsprint, you know, printed newsprint. And he starts tearing very carefully, neatly, with his shaky hands. He pulls out a bottle of whiskey, pours in a certain amount, like you were putting milk in your cereal. Right? Puts it back, takes a spoon, and he mushes it up. And then he ate it, like it was, you know, raisin bran or something. Right? All the way down, puts the bowl away, he's ready to work. Hands like this. There was an escalator that kept breaking. There's a big escalator going, when you get off the 7 train at Grand Central, there's a big escalator that goes up. And it was broken all the time. And he started writing about it and calling it the thing in the hole. And he vowed that if they fixed it, he would stop drinking. And the day came, he stepped off the train, and the escalator was running. And I gotta tell you, the, Woodward and Bernstein were never more proud than this guy was to see that escalator and you'd see the ladies from Flushing with the swollen ankles would get off and they wouldn't have to struggle up the stairs, they'd just ride on up. It was like a thing of beauty. Came with no breakfast that morning, no whiskey. And uh, the next day he stepped off the train and it was broken again. <laughs> he climbed up the frozen escalator and he went right to the bar and he never came back.